in the 70s, board games and improv theater had a baby, and it was called the role-playing game. These games allowed a generation of kids to live out their dreams of slaying dragons and saving kingdoms, all while sitting in their bedrooms and basements. Today, gaming has moved into the cultural mainstream, and role-playing games are back with a vengeance. Join us now as five of these former kids come out of the basement and onto the internet to experience adventure, mystery, and obscure pop culture references. It's time for Roll for Combat. Hey everyone, welcome to Rule for Combat. I'm your GM and host, Steven Glicker, and in this week's episode, you find out all about what happens when somebody's computer goes out in the middle of a show. So, as I've said before, making this show can be very tricky. Any podcast is hard. When I was doing a podcast by myself, that was hard. One person doing a podcast was hard. Then you add in other people. When I used to do interviews, that was even harder. Now you add in, oh... The combination of sound effects, music, multiple people playing over the internet, all over the country, using a VTT. It is a lot. It is very tricky. I actually create Fortune 500 websites for a living, so I'm pretty technically sound. I've been using technology ever since I was a little kid, and it took me a good month to figure out how to balance and create this show in such a way that everything can come together seamlessly but in the end of the day if someone's computer doesn't work there's only so much i can do so in the middle of this episode something happens i'm going to tell you now and i kind of kept it in because we had some fun with it right in the middle of the episode chris's computer died sometimes when people's computers die they just restart we take a break we come back and we play in this case we're not exactly sure what happened chris's computer just died and he was gone he was gone, gone, gone. Like, he just didn't exist. And we still had an hour left, and we're in the middle of a big fight. So I didn't want to stop. So we just did the next best thing, is that we had everyone else play his character. And I actually think a Kiro by committee might have been the best decision we ever did. In a pinch, you sometimes just gotta do what you gotta do. I've actually heard stories of this and that like long-standing groups sometimes have other people play their characters or they'll have someone else like a, a friend or a loved one play their character if they can't make a game rather than cancel the game. In this case, we all know Chris, we all know how he's going to play and no one's going to kill him. So we just, you know, went with it and it was a lot of fun. One thing Seth did in a campaign, which I thought was brilliant, is I was playing 4th edition with him. He was a GM, and I couldn't always make every session. I was able to make maybe like 70% of the sessions. So he had this thing where my character would randomly teleport away and then come back with no memory as to what happened. Now, there was no reason for this. I could have just, you know, disappeared and come back and nothing would have mattered. But in terms of story and role-playing, we want to have a reason why the character keeps disappearing. Eventually, we tied into his larger character arc as to why he kept disappearing. But it'd be really funny because they'd be in the middle of a fight. Then he would just disappear because then I just couldn't make the next session. And then maybe I would miss like two or three sessions and I would come back. And they'd be like, oh, hey, Quinn, how you doing? Uh, yeah, this is what you missed and this is what happened. And they'll catch me up and stuff. And it was completely seamless. And we did this like for a year or so and it worked out great. So... There's lots of ways to handle people who can't make games, or if someone has a connection issue, stuff like that. Truth be told, 95% of the time, whenever we have a connection issue, we just stop playing, and we just continue up next week. We've even done this in the very beginning, like we usually play for three hours, and if someone has a connection issue like 30 minutes in, we just stop playing. But now we have Seth, and we have all these players, and we're so close, I didn't want to stop. It was in the middle of a lot going on, so this is what you hear, and this is what happened. But with that, let's get to this week's show. Ooh. 
last we left off, you found a little puddle of a person. Somebody huddled, crying, whimpering in a cell. And it turned out to be Hiroji, of all things. So that was about accurate. And surprisingly, all of his time off world didn't really seem to change him that much. He seemed to be more or less the same person, although he sounds awfully different now. Or maybe that's just your imagination. No matter. You quickly formed the party back to the way it was. Akira will now have to fend for himself when it comes to loot. So, oh well. And you found what you believe is the final door in this, like, hangar bay area which probably has something very important behind it because you need to find that map. You guys have no idea where you are. The ship is literally the size of the island of Manhattan. You need to figure out what the heck to do, how to get there. You've sort of figured out a game plan of maybe storming the bridge or doing something. But right now, you found a door and you opened it, and that's where we last left off. And we're going to find out what's behind that magic door. Though I am not skilled, I throw a grenade. Seth Lipton is playing the Lashunta operative, Hiroji. <laughs> that is exactly what you should say. However, before you throw a grenade, let's get into what you see. You open up the door and you see this room only has a single door on the aft wall, which is the one you just opened. A small dais in the center of the room is raised up a few feet and pillars line the walls. Each pillar supports a display, all of which show collections of video streams of hallways, hangar bays, rooms, and other locations within this section of the Empire of Bones. In addition, you see you see nothing. How about that? So there's just it's it's a security room, basically. John Stats is playing the Vesk soldier, Mo Dupinski. It appears to be a room filled with security panels. And if you're looking around, yeah, you can see they're all monitors for this location. And I said to you, if you remember a few sessions ago, that there was little cameras like everywhere, like all over the place, and yet no alarms have been going off. They all seem to feed into this room. I see. I assist Ann Tuttle. Bob Marquis is playing the human envoy, Rusty Carter. Oh. All we right. have a technology problem. I see no monsters. Therefore, I am assuming this is going to be Jason, and I'm going to assume. No, no. Um, why would you not think Akiro? Chris Beamer is playing the Tiefling Technomancer, Akiro the Just. Would you like a list of ten reasons, or just the primary ones? I mean, Technomancer. Hello. Are we sure the uh, room Mo is, is clear? Mo is stepping in the room before all this high-minded. Uh... That's excellent. Good, good. Set off the trap. Go, go. Okay, as soon as you step in the room. <laughs> mm-hmm. Before all your high-minded I deliberations. for combat. I, I step, I step so back. Shit. Oh, yeah. there, we go. there we go. Now we're talking. The inevitable happens. Jason McDonald is playing the Ahsoki mechanic, Tuttle Blacktail, and his drone, Cheddar. Mo, Mo does not give an F. Mo boldly steps into the room, assuming what could be the worst that can happen. We are about to find out. As Mo steps into the room and he looks around, a large explosion goes off immediately where the entire area that you see in front of you covered in green, which Ooh, is pretty much the, well, it's the south. It's the I, south. I did say I stepped back. I want to make clear about Oh, please. Oh, please. Uh, it, it, it gets covered in goo. I'm going to tell you who actually gets to go and who actually has to be affected by this. Let's see. Kiro is not. It's only Mo because it's going to go through the door, but it doesn't really go through all the way. And I'm going to say that um, a Tuttle was just outside of it. So give me a reflex save to see if you're entangled in the goop. Goop. 
Mo. Uh, Rolls four, a seven for have, have you ever made a save? I want to ask John. Have no, you ever? No, and I mean, in, in nope. 15 levels, <laughs> really have you ever nope. made a leap? I always miss my save. Okay. The good news is there's no damage. The bad news is that what Mo great news. Is, is now entangled in a sticky bomb grenade and is covered in goop. And you are, well, you're entangled, which means you can't, you, you, you need to go with an acrobatics check or strength check. And you can do that as a move action. And then the other thing is you're entangled, which means you can move, but you move at half speed. You cannot run or charge, and you take a minus two penalty to your AC, attack rolls, reflex saves, initiative checks, and dexterity-based skill and ability checks. So you're basically now moving at half speed, and you get minus two to pretty much all your fun things. Now, while you goes off in your face, you see something else. Is it Mo covered in goo and I'm laughing? Up to the north, you see all these creatures, and they look, I don't know, undead. You go, John, Mr. Mo. It is your turn. Is that and in the room or in the corridor? Those creatures. The the creatures, those creatures are in the room. They're in the north part of the room. I, I don't, I don't see really... any creatures, uh, Steve, oh, just sorry. so you know. Uh, How about now? Uh, yes, I do now. Yeah. Okay, they're in the north side. Now I do. Um, all right, so. An oh, my ac- God. That, that's horrible. An acrobatics check is uh, trivial. So. Um, I would not. I would oh, not. actually, no. Oh, uh, can I make an athletics? Let me, let me check out the. Uh, the guide again. How yes. am I dead last on this list? I oh, I have a high dexterity. Yeah, uh, I see. Only... It's acrobatics or strength. Okay, I am going to make uh, my strength modifier is plus seven. My acrobatics is plus seven. So doesn't matter. Going to go with acrobatics, I guess. Uh... A one. You right. fail horribly. <laughs> And I think yeah. have more stuff now stuck on top of you. You got it in your hair. That is your move action. What are you going to do for your standard action? Uh, I'm going to shoot the one that is closest to me, the marooned one. Let's go with... Uh, actually, no. Let's, Did you have your gun out? I always have my gun out. At the beginning of combat, mm-hmm. I always start with mm-hmm. my laser. No, and because that. you know that, and because I've said that, I'm uh-huh. going to shoot. Uh-huh. 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 Whatever. Yeah, he always has his, right. his some kind of gun, and then he drops it and goes melee. Yeah, it's always first turn mm-hmm. of combat. Now, I have a feat that lets me move through. It doesn't actually say uneven terrain, so this probably doesn't apply. Oh, I hit. No, it's, it's entangled. This is not terrain. This is okay. entangled. Just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, it's very different. So it you barely hit, even with all the goop on top of you, even with your minus two to hit. You barely managed to hit that guy with a little bit of fire. A 29. Little bit of fire. All right. Rusty is up. Yeah. Is that, is, that, is that zone still there, or is that just a one-shot no. for me? It's a one-shot. It's gone now. All right, so can you get rid of that? I got rid of it. Okay, so I am going to but move in the to way. the edge of the door. You can move through friendlies. Of course. I'm not going to move through you, though. You're you're the blocker. Oh, my God. Rusty is actually moving towards the combat. And can he well, go further? Is no, he going to go further? I, is he going to go further? Uh, no, wow. no. I think I'm doing it there. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Right really? Here. You're stopping there? Really? 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 Wow. <laughs> Why don't you just get in the room? I mean... Oh, my God. Actually, uh, I, I will be using some sort of area of effect grenade. I'm deciding. You only have moment. 15 more units of movement. Um, you could stop there. Uh, oh, I've run out of movement. Actually, I think it's the goo trap. It seems That's to have affected me. <laughs> sorry to say. Yeah, I, I'm not able to get any farther. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. I mean, I'm honestly trying as much as I can. Guys, ah, God, I can't move any farther. I'm stuck. I will make my bluff roll. Who am I to doubt um, that? If you, if, you want, if you want, I will make my bluff roll. Right? I am not one to doubt that. I have to uh, concur. Yeah. Uh, I believe I actually still have my one major AOE, which is actually firing the sort of Ghost Frag Grenade 3 from my uh, 
my gun's mystical add-on. And this strikes me as the time to do it. Uh, however, this is a time when I should ask Steve, can I fire a grenade at those four guys from where I am? With cover, sure. Because you're going through the through him. You're going through two things. You're going through a doorway with Mo standing in your way. So if you go into the room, you will have a mm. clear line of shot. He um, does definitely know that already. Oh, but he did that's... it! He did it! Oh, my God! Wow, he did. <laughs> uh, actually, what I want you to know is you, you heard my acceptance of this is not good enough, and then bravely I broke through the goo that was stuck to my legs and was preventing from moving. You saw me dramatically and bravely break through to attack. Uh, yes, so uh, let me... Excellent. God, the bravery is uh, making me heart palpitate. That's probably... That is actually next to you is a very large pillar. Um, yeah, you can go there and throw and hit right there. I presume that's what you want to do. You're going to hit everyone and you won't hit much. Well, his gun shoots a grenade. That's his... Unless you want to go, so if you want to go south one more, you can hit Mo if you want. Yeah, why don't you shoot ten, five, five feet further so you won't miss No, no, that, that's the one well. where I'm going to get everyone. Actually, five feet further south. Ah, here you we go. You crit go the ground. That's how Great. well. You bravely yeah. rush in, push past Mo. Right. Fire it's a ghost like, grenade from fire my Fire a ghost grenade. You get nothing but net. And now the damage, shall we? Uh, how does crits work with grenades? They don't work with They grenades. don't work at all. Yeah, they so don't. 46. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> wow, they're all over the place and saves. <laughs> 12, 22, 29, 13. So two of them make and two fail. Wow! And I roll just roll 11 wow. points. Of wow. 46 for 11. 46. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's really, there it goes. The 46 wow. is actually wow. not that much. I'm wondering if I'm going to top wow. 30 points of damage with that. Yeah, that's, it's actually, that's, actually, actually, that's a really not. Actually, I got two out of, I got one, uh, two out of four got full damage. That's something. It's not a great grenade, though. I mean, 46. No, it's not anymore. It was at the time, but now it's not. Uh, this, right. you, know, you, know, you know the damage scaling of weapons in this game. Yes. I will show you what damage is soon. Hey, somebody just appeared right next to me. God damn it. Ooh. Oh, right, oh, good. oh. It's nice. We have a meat shield. Whoa. Bob, why did you run in the room like that? Oh my god! Why did you run error? into the why room? Why did he just right? run? What a foolish move! Because Steve goaded him into it next to the boss. That was very unlike Rusty, wasn't it? I've never seen him do that before. The bravery is outstanding. The bravery is outstanding. In front of you, you see. A female human, pale stranger, they're called. She is pretty awesome. You can tell she is in full military garb. She is a commander of some sort. She has not one, but two firearms. She almost looks like a gunslinger with a cool-ass hat. And she was hiding behind the pillar when Rusty popped his head over. And she looks at him and says, oh, you are tricky little suckers. I can't wait to kill you and turn you into my minions. I've been following you. You are above average. I can't wait to use you for my plan. <laughs> and with that, she will... What the hell is she going to do? She's got to unload the big one. Big she one. Might have, she might have to make a move because she has not melee. Uh, that's true. Well, she could do melee on him. Or she can do what she was planning on doing all along. But you guys kind of forced her hand. So, oh, well. She looks at, while she gives that long soliloquy, and Rusty's like, wow, she sure talks a lot. She presses another button on her uh, chest. And another bomb goes off. Only this one is not a sticky bomb. This is a frag grenade and hits. Oh, let's see who it hits. It hits Mo and it hits Rusty. People outside do not get hit. Give nice. me a reflex save, you two. 14 for Mo is not going to cut it. It's actually a 12 because you're minus two. And 15 a will 15 cut it, though. That's actually that will one extra. Will not cut it, it. That's, wait, what? whatsoever. 
15. You really think a 15 is going to cut it? It's so get... much better than that previous one. That 14. It actually was a 12. So the frag grenade goes off. Not much better, but 22 points of damage. Luckily, uh, I have. Don't I have hardness or something like that that mitigates? Uh... Oh, yeah, you do. You get. Um, yeah. You get 11 back. Does, Thank you. Does, does um, Rusty have. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, Maroon 1 goes, and he's just going to saunder on up to. He's got to get Rusty. Rusty is the threat. Yeah, you're right. Rusty is the threat. Hey, Rusty. They're not very smart. So no, he's no, gonna... I'm very smart. Wait, he's hold on. Go Intelligence is my dumb stat. Right... I mean, I'm very, I'm pretty. Don't, not the face. Not the face. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Don't I get a uh, attack of opportunity? No, because you have your gun out. Yes, but I'm never unarmed. I'm never the unarmed. Best is never unarmed. Is your gun, uh, you, how you many hands does... That I know, but does your gun take two hands or one hand? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Like he can do attack of opportunity because he can hold his gun in one hand and attack. He can do that. Yeah, that's true. But then it's a minus two, minus four. Go right ahead. Okay, I get two attacks. I don't get two attacks. No, you get one get attack. One. You no, you get one attack. My you get one attack. You have a lot of minuses though. I'm just gonna roll d twenty, and if I no, just use your attack. Fine. Use your. It's in there. I have it for you. No, it's on the last it... page. Unarmed. Strike. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I see it. Look at that, you hit. Good job. 29 points of damage. Wow. D3 damn, with this plus hand. 26. This you hit with... That's max damage. How is that possible? <laughs> um, Because I'm never unarmed. You have to understand. It's it's yep. you, you, you take your chances when you, you move next to a vest. Oh. oh. 28 Maroon on Rusty. Slices him. He hits on a 33. Him. I thought you had huge armor, Rusty. Oh, huge. It's the best armor. I mean, it's it's terrible. No, it's sad. You need to give me your armor. Mo gets hit. 31. Oh, another one's up. Look at that. Uh, now, that might... might... I, 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 I don't take 10. Like, it, How are they hitting me? Daggers. Okay, but my damage mitigation takes off. Oh, it's automatic. 10. It's automatic. It's already doing it. Stop. Oh, it doesn't you play say 10, that. You've played 10,000 times with me. Roji, you're up. All right. I want to do, I want to do fun things. Oh, boy. So, uh, all right. So, my little, my character sheet is updated, right? So, these weapons, because I forget, I, I forget yes. what we got last time from whatever. Yes. So, I have my semi automatic. Okay. So, I have my semi automatic pistol. All right. Yes. So, walk me through the technical aspects of what I'm about to accomplish. I okay. am going you just tell to... me what you want to do, and I'll figure it out. Shot on the run, trick shot, foregoing debilitating shot because of the flourish for ricochet shot. And so what I'm going to do is uh, for half my move for the shot on the run into the doorway, I can see both the boss and uh, one of the zombies in front of him. I'm going to uh, shoot as a primary target the boss and then ricochet that if I hit to one of the zombies. And then for the remainder of my move, I'm going to take cover to the north of the doorway on uh, on the side that doesn't have the monsters in it. Oh, good. Well, uh, the boss is behind a panel, so you have to go into the room. There's actually a large panel in front of her. So all right, all right, the only so way not do that. see her is Rusty. He's the only way. All right, that, all right. That is, okay, so that solves that. So instead, yes. it's ricochet shot zombie to zombie. So the, 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 mo- the most obvious zombie, and then I'm going to try to ricochet shot into another zombie, and then take cover. What's that on called? The, on the what's exterior of the doorway. What's, a, what's that feat called again? Oh, it's uh, shot on the run. Uh, let me let me let me let me read it through because it's it, it's nice how it chains. So shot on the run, uh, full action, move up to your speed, range attack. If you have the trick attack class feature, which I do. Uh, you can take your movement from a uh, trick attack at any time during a trick attack with a ranged weapon. All right, so I'm deploying the trick attack. Normally, that's a debilitating trick. Ricochet shot says when you hit an enemy with a trick attack using a ranged weapon that targets uh, uh, KAC, which my semi-automatic pistol does, uh, I can forego the effects of the debilitating trick to instead ricochet the projectile to a second target, and I get negatives to hit, and that's what that does. Yeah, so so that is a like a... Uh... It's a move, attack, and move, 
Like you can move and and attack and move and do your full movement anywhere in between that and your attack. Exactly right. So, so right. So, so the plan is run, shoot, get out of the line of sight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna end up. Yeah, you can totally do that. Yeah, I'm gonna end up on the exterior north of the doorway. Okay, you do it. Let's start this. This is, it's like he never left, except. This Hiroji <laughs> might be better than the old one. Oh yeah, uh, this one has some attacks on it. This one is like flourishing. I'm I'm impressed. Finally, already. Hiroji's gonna do some freaking. Yeah, you, you gotta have style. You gotta have style. <laughs> That's <laughs> what we were missing all picture. this time. Like he's got shades. He's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> of course yeah. he's gonna do trick shots. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Of course That's a he is. But it's yeah, a shame smoked. that it's a shame that we didn't see this panache when he was originally with the party. He was just like always complaining. Constantly yeah. go missing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good lord. Yeah. Um. He did assassinate some kind of alien once. Uh, yeah. Did he also betray the party like three times while mm. killing aliens and then looting them while nobody looked. It was sure like petty it. cash. He stole from the petty cash on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bo, I was going to use a free action to look over his shoulder to make sure that is actually Hiroji not complaining while he's making his turn. <laughs> Just to make sure, you know. All right, go right ahead. So first, which one are you going to attack? Move move to where you want to go, and then just show me which one you're going to attack. All right, let me see, let me see if I can do this. Look, like, I'm very rusty on the D20 Pro. It's been a long time. Girl, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to end up where I want to end up. The, like, this will automatically okay. calculate the full move, right? So it's not going to... Yeah, yeah, right, just well, I'm, put yourself where you do it. That's perfect. So you can run... Stop in the middle, shoot. Which one are you going to shoot? The one in front of Mo, directly to the west? I'm going to try the ping feature. Let me see if I can try the ping feature. You're not going to be able to hit the boss, though, because the boss has a pillar that's kind of semi-observant. It's, like, in its way. I, I like the ping feature. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so to do your... So first thing you're going to do is try to trick attack him. So open up your skills and open up your... What was it? Stealth? And um, double click on that and just roll it. It's just a blind. It's just a, it's just a roll. And that's the big fat D twenty I'm pressing, right, for the roll. Not the D two. That would go wrong. <laughs> if you press the wrong one, don't worry about it. Wow, maybe it really is Hiroji because he rolls. That roll a one. That is a one. That is perfect. <laughs> all right, so now, so while I'm taking cover. Oh, yes, you get all the goddamn complaints that you've been waiting for. There's a lot of complaining. <laughs> like, that one is because you're in the way, because you moved the last moved wrong. It's because, he, wow, it's because the sun was in my eyes. And, like, and, and like it, it, oh, and I'm so upset. And I'm still mumbling when I'm behind the, when I'm behind the wall. I'm, like, I'm still cursing. Well, you still get an attack. That was just for the trick a shot, the trick attack to do extra damage. So you fail that, but you still get to an attack. So... Just oh, that's true. Yeah, the attack, trick attack, yeah. it's, it's, it's rough with the... Uh, oh, so the trick attack is just like a bonus attack? Yeah, uh, it's just a bonus. It's, it's, like, it's just bonus make, damage. If you it's make the trick attack damage. and you hit, it's hor horrendous damage to the enemy. Right, yeah, right, right. They're flat-footed, and you do 68 extra damage. Basically, it's like you got to roll two to hit rolls. But if you yeah, do, you basically have to attack and hit twice. Yeah. All right, so I'm just rolling again for a No, no, hit A. No, this is what you do. Click on your character, hit A. Select the weapon you want, and then click on the monster and submit it. Was there a grenade involved at all? No. No. Not yet. Mm. Not yet. You hit. You did nine points of damage. Yeah, that's that's a Hiroji. That, that's I, I, I am underwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the, the 68 on top of it would have been nice. That's the... Yeah. yeah. Now, what you, you forgot to do, uh, Sethi, is that Hiroji would have now spent the next 15 minutes complaining about the fact that it's ridiculous that you have to make two attack rolls in order to do that. Yeah, your, your turn's not done. So, I don't think you get the ricochet, because I think that's only if you succeed in yeah, I have to hit. trick attack. I have to hit with the trick attack, that's right. Right, and you missed on your... You hit, but not with your trick attack. Yep, so I'm done. I'm done, and I'm cursing. On. Wow, there's just so much going on over here. That it just doesn't even know what to do. So it's just going to come over here. Let's attack Rusty, shall we? I really oh, don't see why that oh would go. Rusty is getting really beat up badly. And Tuttle's up. Wow, lots happened in three, okay. five seconds. <laughs> yeah, after, after the uh, 8,000 uh, step process that was uh, Hiroji's attack, mine's going to be fairly simple. I'm going to pull out my sonic pistol. And I'm going to shoot the guy 
uh, diagonally opposite me through Mo, so I realize I'll get a car- cover. That's issues. okay. That's all right. Minor cover. Well then, you doing anything else? No. That's two ones we've rolled. Now, Cheddar's going to be a little tricky because... Try to Cheddar's sh- in the back. Can he attack around the corner? Or is that uh, too much of a hard corner? Sure. No, he can do that. That's right. His his gun is a line gun, so you would hit everyone. It is just a mosh pit. I don't want to hit Mo though. Don't use a line gun. Or I can hit nobody. Akira. Akira, what are you going to do? There is... That is just a wall. That's a three by three grid of of monsters and PCs. I know. I'm actually, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm, I'm actively thinking of like what <laughs> I gotta do. Yeah. Teleport, Chris. No, no, just throw, no. throw a grenade. And Lord knows what's gonna happen. No, no. It's I. I only. Um, I, I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. You can use uh, your teleport here, Chris. This is the awesome. Can I, I can only oh, teleport yeah. thirty feet. I can only teleport thirty feet. So I'm gonna yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. That's easy. I'm going to do what I like to do sometimes. Run and away. I'm going to go plan A. Oh, go you're going to cast magic. You're <laughs> going to cast mirror image. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you, you are the farthest me? from the bad monsters. Are you kidding me? Why? There you go. No, That's why? Sure. They're yeah. all yeah. using... Right. <laughs> oh, God. Nope. Uh, do whatever you want. You are <laughs> the single farthest person from the monsters, and you are now acting to defend yourself. I understand. Right. Sure. There you go. Go for it. Okay. It's not going to be a popular decision. It's going to be a right decision. Trust me when I tell you this. Jesus. All right. I'm going to roll a d4 for oh, my mirror and image. It's gonna be, you're going to roll a 1. That's what you're trying to right. say. Right. And you called it correctly. It huh. is a mirror image. It's not mirror a images. Mirror, yes. It's only one. You will not you have will more than one. get one. All right. I'm selecting my core dice. Here we go. Excellent. So one. Oh, my Wait, God. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. He rolled a 4. <laughs> What are, are all these Akira, what are all these Akira? <laughs> Never happened. That's I, I'm confused. How did you cast four spells in the same round? Wow. Know. Yeah, that's true. He's got time dilation. Wow. Right. wow. As a swift action, I activate my haste circuit on my armor. Okay. That's actually that's actually and, and now I'm moving. Uh let me let me I'm moving in. Let me see my end point, because it's gonna provoke Well, do these creatures have melee attacks? I yes, they not. have daggers. Daggers. They're attacking you with daggers, really? No. Knives. Yeah, tactical knives. They've been poking you with knives. All right. So, uh, what in, in the in the square? It's going to be complicated. In the square that Cheddar is in, when I move out of that square, it does not provoke. Is that true or not true? Is this cover? Yeah, you won't provoke. If you once you get into Mo Square, okay. you're gonna right, start so I'll provoking. I'll be in Mo Square, and then I'm gonna start provoking. It's gonna be a massive provoke. All right. So, 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 sorry. So, I have a, I have a sixty move right now. Okay. Go right ahead. No, the the haste circuit doesn't start till next round. True that, but as move action, I could teleport. You can get farther away now that you've cast your mirror. We enemies. only have an hour and a half, so try to take your turn within that period, please. <laughs> oh. I understand. I believe that I could teleport over to this square. If you can see it, you can teleport to it. Wait, I'm sorry. In inside yeah, the you room? Can do that. You wait, can wait, do that. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? Yes. Wow. You doing that? Of course, it's other. Good job. Yes. That's how I do. I take back. Uh, he has multiple I... mirror images and he's being brave. What is, yeah, what okay, sort of Chris, bizarro I take world back, are we living in? I seriously take back 30% of the things I said about you. Yeah, this Hiroji guy, I'm not a fan. He did something not very effective and then ran away a lot. All right, uh, Mo is going to, let's see, are any of these guys flat-footed to me? Uh, what? Why would they be flat-footed to you? Uh, because you're entangled. Uh, you're entangled? I'm not entangled anymore. Yes, you are. He says for one turn. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't say for one turn. You All said right. for one turn. <laughs> I thought it was for one turn. All right. No, so, no, no, no. Okay, so, 2D4 turns. Okay, that's a lot. Yes. All right, so I'm going to drop my gun, clang on the deck, and I'm going to use my called pike, and just calling it, I spear the two 
they're on either side of me. How good would that be if I could do that? Actually, that is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do a uh, full attack uh, on the, the tube beside me, just because it's good flare. So, go right ahead. Um, let's see. Where's my called pike? There it is. It's nice to roll a 17 for a 36. All right, you hit hits. the one to the south of you. Now what? Yeah. Is that it? Uh, didn't I submit an attack to the one to the north of me? Oh, nope. apologize. Oh, You're I done. roll a 10 and I hit. Okay. Rust is uh, so... up. These guys are... Uh, they're, they're, they're tough. They're very strong. And they're very meaty, but they're pretty easy to hit. Rusty is up. Rusty, you are surrounded by... A sticky mo, evil looking creatures, a wicked woman, and five Hirojis. Five ah, I mean yes. Akira. Akira. Five Akira. Five Akiros is terrifying. I must get away. Uh, so what is the I'm scariest thing do, here? Is yeah, exactly. <laughs> is I'm going to take a guarded step five feet to the south. Alright, let me set my game tools for the target. Uh, as part of my move action, I am pulling off a grenade from my little bandolier, and I'm going to throw a temporal displacement grenade. What? What? Yes, he has that. Oh, I have several of those. What does that do? DC 19 fortitude negates. If they uh, fail, the target is stunned for one round. Oh, wow. Well played, Mr. Thank, uh, Rusty. Thank you. That's a well, good... They, they make, oh, now watch them all make that DC 19 fortitude save. Well, well plus yeah, you, have to, you have to... Uh, you have make to, the uh, attack, I'm dying. Yeah. It wouldn't be funny if it hit you... Thank you. All right, you all right. Uh, DC 19 fortitude from all four of the targets. Well, and three out of the four made it. No, no, the first one was a reflex save. Yeah. 24, 31, oh, 20, sakes. and 25. They'll okay. all make it. So my entire turn, nothing happened whatsoever. Well, that was fun. All right, done. For your next trick, you will... The guy that rolled a three for his reflex made it. <laughs> Fortitude. Fortitude. <laughs> Fortitude. Well, that tells me these guys are big. Oh, yeah, plus guys, 17. These guys are tanks. Oh, They're God. very strong. <laughs> Is that a terrible weapon that he used? Is that like a super low weapon? I mean... Wait a minute, hold freaking on. Freaking sevens and sixes and a three should all miss. That that, that, that just doesn't make any sense. It can't oh, be just a, a just, DC 19. It's his... Oh, it's all different. That's weird. It's, um... No, it's his le It's the level of the... Well, look it up in, um... Here a lot while I'm doing this. Uh, the reflex save is only plus 11, but their fortitude is plus 17 somehow. Let me double check it. Let's see. Is there... Yeah, just... just my my spider senses for the consistency of how oh, wait, hold on. you know starfinder works that just doesn't make sense you're right why is it so high oh wait, wait 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 i know why i'm looking at the hold on one more second these are different versions okay no problem may yeah, i'm working on confirming that dc oh what do you know hold on i made a mistake give me a second quite all right there are many many balls in the air <sighs> The grenade is tossed. We're going to back up, pretend that never happened. Grenade is tossed. They need to make their saves. And they will... And you actually have to look at the DC. I'm looking here, lab, and in one place it says DC 34, and in another 19. I believe the 19, to be honest. That sounds more logical for a grenade, but still. No, not at this level. Yeah, it is. Now it is. Hold on. Just relax. It's definitely not 34. That is that definitely I, not 34. I can even screenshot okay. it for you. I mean, it's so No, weird. I know I mean, it's not. Hold I, on. I, I, I'm like, I'm Hold kind on. of in max for spells, and my DC is 21. Yeah, but we're level 11. Like, it has monsters. nothing to do with your level. It's the level of the grenade. Oh, right. It's yeah. a level 10 grenade. But there should be no grenade above my level of DC. Yeah, I'm just that. thinking, like, the level monsters that we're playing, they're going to have major bonuses. 19 sounds so low. Yeah, but we actually just got this weapon as a drop in the like last few encounters uh, yeah yeah so it should be good it should be a good thing level. yeah so that's all well, no. again i believe the 19 not the 34 but okay the dc of the save is 10 plus half the grenades item that's five plus your dexterity modifier that's all it which is. which is four that's fine so, so it is 19. 19. great it is great 19. we've confirmed the 19 which is what was more logical 
Okay, so let's redo these. I'm going to redo it, and I'm actually not redoing hers, but I'm going to redo the other guys because they were incorrect. Well, I'll do it anyhow. Hold on. Well, well that made it better. Great, that's fine. Yeah, not a problem. A 30. Oh, an 18. Okay, well, everything's 29. fine. I'm glad we rerolled these. That's great. Oh, and a 19. Look at that. Right on the nose. Jeez. <laughs> Well, well, I'm glad it. we did this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Anyhow, let's, all uh, right. let's move far. That was a good detour. You should leave that in. You should definitely <laughs> leave all of that in because, honestly, we learned something. I mean, that, that that's a good thing to keep in. So She backs up. She didn't really need to, but she backs up and presses another button. And on this side, now the frag grenade on this side goes off, hitting... Every one of her monsters plus Mo. I like this girl. I like and, this girl. Um, and that's also going to hit uh, Cheddar. It's not going to hit Tunnel because he's around a corner. So Cheddar, there. Why wouldn't Mo, she try to get and Rusty, Rusty and Akiro? They're, they're, they're right it's, there. It, they're actually planted on the wall. Oh. She's pressing a triggers. I and see. she's setting off grenades. Like she set it up. So if you were in here, she's like literally pushing buttons and setting off grenades. So. This was all prepared because she clean more mind. This is like, great. I actually like her. I, I, I don't want to kill her. I'm going to use non-lethal damage just to do her. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, she hits her own people. They oh all God. failed except for one. <laughs> now your turn. Yeah. Mo. And then okay. Cheddar, whatever. Reflex, Cheddar obviously. Reflex there. Yeah. Whoa! Uh, Rolling 20 a 20 for a uh, uh, 27. 20. Nat Next 20. to 25 because you're still entangled, but you still make it. So you somehow <laughs> get out of the way, and then Cheddar's the last one. I feel as, as though I'm, am I am I out of, out of the range? Yep. Man, yeah, Cheddar yeah, does it. Oh wow, Cheddar makes he it. He makes too. it. He makes it. Nice. He's a pretty nimble tin can. 24. And that's great because I take half damage. So I basically Mo takes two because of his damage mitigation. This <laughs> is so great. She did 24 damage to three of her people. You take one because it's 12, and then you have the mitigation of 11. So you take one point of damage. That wow. is awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> and Cheddar only takes 10 because he also has damage <laughs> mitigation. So. And she's like, mm. she's like, no matter. You'll still make excellent slaves. Oh, I like this girl. She's, she's, she's. She's Vesk material. She's something. And double double attack. Oh, now now let's have the marooned ones do their full attacks on. Uh, on... <laughs> Mo is like saying how much he likes it until he's about to get. Well, I don't like them. Uh, they they should be going after Rusty and Akira. What the, what was going on? Oh, here? Wait, actually, hold on. Well, no, Akira's got. There's a lot of Akira's around here. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's five people actually surrounding them. They can't be all attacking me. No, they're, they're all tired. Yeah. All right. That's two misses. One rolls a seven. Another one is a one. That's good. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're minus two plus flanking. So they hit. Even though it's minus four. Uh, yeah, I see that. Ugh, great. Man, you are. All right. <laughs> Oh, and he crits me for 52 Ouch. Two points, points of damage. damage. All right. Well, I can get out of the room now. All right. Akiro is up. I mean, Hiroji oh, is up. Hiroji, sorry. I keep yeah, yeah. That's not, oh, boy. That's Hiroji. dramatic. <laughs> sorry. Hiroji, you just saw Mo get stabbed like Judas. He just stab, 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 stab. Just the... Uh, like Caesar, like, like Caesar, yeah, well, yeah he like does, Caesar. He likes that though. He that's that's like Caesar, Caesar in the it, Senate. It, it toughens him up. At two, yeah. one uh, what what? At what two, two Hiroji. At two. At, at two marooned one. Fun fact: I'm actually seeing Julius Caesar on stage tomorrow. That is a very fun fact. Um, Shakespeare, yes, Bob. Yeah, here in town. Town. What's Hiroji gonna do? Uh, wait, what's it called? So uh, what here's what it did. Uh, There's Shakespeare in Cleveland, just so you know, John. Move at move action. I love Shakespeare. Guys, like uh, move action. Uh, activate cloaking field. God. Become invisible. Okay. Well, right. more or less. Really is. Is. And then, then standard action as a move action. I am entering the room. Yeah, you can do that without. Oh my god, Hiroji! 
Yeah, no attacks. And I, and I have opportunity. <laughs> Or you try to avoid getting hit at all costs. Yeah, I know. Well, well, I'm stealthing, so I'm making a stealth check, and they might not see me at all. It and does. And uh, I am sure-footed, so I can move my full speed. Yes, the sure-footed is great. That is good. Uh, just so you know, they did. F- yeah, they did full attacks, so they actually can't get an attack of opportunity on you. That's not true. That's not how it works. That's exactly how it works. But it doesn't work that way. They, they, they always have, uh, it's like when it's off turn, they always have that as an option. Yeah, it's like the, it's the same thing as Pathfinder, right? They have a reaction. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The cloaking yeah, field yeah, doesn't make yeah. you invisible, but it does make it easier to sneak around. So you use your right, move right. action. Right, so, right. So it's like, so I don't get plus 10 to my stealth. I get my normal stealth. And, but if you move and, through, and, well, you're probably it. moving at half speed and you're probably moving through all no, that, of that's the, that's the that's the That's the sure footedness is that I don't have to worry about that half speed business. All right, let me double check. Allow, allow me to read. Yeah, difficult yes. terrain at the. Uh, sure-footed, standard. You move uh, at your full speed when moving over difficult terrain and without penalty when using ac- acrobatics or stealth. At your oh, foot. there you go. Uh, you, you're better, you, you're better Hiroji, than I am. Yeah. I want to end up. I want to end up with a five-foot square between me and the boss. The boss. Chair. All right. I'm going to say you can move in, in, in. Um, your stealth is. Let's see if they can see you. The perception's actually pretty crappy. All right. You sneak by... Okay, you actually sneak by four of them with your cloaking field, and you end up next to Akiro, who probably doesn't even know you're there. And you're done. Excellent. Yeah, I'm done. I'll be back. Maroon 5 is going to attack... No. Full attack. Barely misses you. And then misses you by a lot. Stabby stab. Aeon Tuttle's up. I'm going to try to go for a full attack. On Push the, the button. Across the way. Push the button. Full attack. Go. Kill the one next to Rusty. It's a danger to all of us. Kill. Well, he can't really get that one. It's through a wall. Mm, okay. Miss. I mean, missing. Oh, that's because you're doing a full attack. 13 for 22. So close. <laughs> All right. 16. These guys are actually sort of hard for you to hit. And not for Cheddar. Cheddar's going to do his tactical razor bat. Mm. Yeah, not for Cheddar. Akiro, you're up, all five of you. What are you going to do? All right. So, does the boss have a melee weapon in her hands? I'm curious about attacks of opportunity. Maybe. Uh, do I see one in her hand? Doesn't You said two guns, right? She has two guns, and she has her hands kind of by her sides. And you do see a sword, like, resting. Mm, yeah, but if she doesn't have it in her hands, she cannot provoke. I can, I, she's not going to be able to attack me, right? You don't know. I guess you're going to have to go next to her and I, find out. I, I, I know. Mm-hmm. Go right ahead. All right. Well, out. you know, I don't want to lose my images, so I will do a teleport. I'll use a resolve point and uh, flinks out and go north. To flank with Mo, so that he'll have an advantage to his attack. Why do you think I'm a melee after all these years? Uh, it's all the mirror images that says that you should actually start attracting, you know, attacks so that damage doesn't happen to other people. Wow, you what? are you serious, Chris? Really, uh, Chris? Really? That really is genuinely. <laughs> that's ridiculous. where you're moving. Oh, I, I mean, that's absurd. You could have stood where you were and oh cast an AOE. Oh my you god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The hell! It's like a nightmare that doesn't end. It really Seriously, is. it's just fascinating. <laughs> My God. Uh, are you finished? You are teleporting as far away as possible from yeah. the melee. <laughs> it's a good thing Hiroji showed up because Akiro is literally just a cheerleader at this point. Oh, and now the rest of us can't use our AoEs because you're now in the middle of the grenade range on the other side. So that's. Oh, great. you can still use the AoE. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just hit you now. That's fine. Yeah, that's great. The grenades are insignificant. Oh. They all mean nothing. All that Why can't nothing. I attack other players? Why? <laughs> yeah, I, I want to know that. You know, now that we have Hiroji back, do we actually need Akiro for anything? I mean, anything at all? <laughs> you have uh, a spare yeah, you... one. You basically have a spare and that was Akiro, and now Hiroji's back up. You don't need the spare anymore. I used my move action and a resolve point to teleport there. Oh, Into the middle God. of you nowhere. You are sacrificing now so what? much Wait, what is the party, okay. Chris. Oh, my God. I just now what? Now what? Let's hear it. Right. Let's hear it. So what I would like to do, 
and I think I can encompass all of the enemies and not my friends as much. Is <laughs> as much. You are on the other side. As Lord. much. Wait, let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, you son of a. Bitch. Right, I'm using explosive blast. Let's go. Of course. Couldn't you have used that from the other side? Because he would hit himself. <sighs> you no, no, your, from you... where he was before. No, no, you, you with your, you with you thinking you know your tactics. I know my tactics. I, 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 I know, right, I know right, my plan. Let me, let's hit, let's hit. All right, right, I feel as though I can bomb everyone, and even if I catch some of you, whatever. including us. Yeah, right, 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 right. That's what I'm saying. But, um, like, I want the boss and these three to the north, which you could have gotten from firing from the other side. Right. Can I get all of that? I can do all of that. There you go. Okay. You get yeah, now you get all of us in addition to the three of them. And the you get that's, right. Right. that's the event. You get everyone. Right. Okay. But I use another resolve point to exclude my friends. There we oh. go. All right. Because that's because that because that is what that's how I that's how I do. Yeah, but uh, who I'm are not... your friends? You need to actually say you need to spell. Well, yeah, I'll I mean, name your when, friends. When you're I mean, that position, on, on the top of my list, uh, uh, on are. top of my list is uh, Aeon Tuttle. This is on the top of my list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheddar <laughs> is number two. I don't, yeah, I don't both, need to be yeah, both in a different room altogether. Room. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, right, they're right. outside of line of effect anyway. Great. No, no. I mean, my friends. I mean, who I genuinely like better than all you is Tuttle. <laughs> and that's it and you're done and we're done and Tuttle and Cheddar have been excluded right. it's, it's like Tuttle, Tuttle Cheddar well, and well, the there's still the squ- there's the squad right <laughs> oh that's true <laughs> right I don't, so you I don't, should do it with yourself in it and then exclude yourself just to be cool well yeah I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I have to like not hit myself of course because that's crazy uh um, you know, be hubris to absorb that damage. But I think we got them all. I think that was a great play. That was. You, you Is it automatic? That's great. Let's see. It's a, um, you transform a battery propelling in a straight line to a grid intersection. And it just does it. So. Yeah. It's 96. Yes. With a 21 a reflex save. That's great. And hopefully if they're big doofuses, they don't have great reflex saves. Well, we can hope. Yeah. All right, let me do the reflex saves. Now, do I need to make my reflex save now, Chris? What's the reflex save? Twenty-one. It's twenty-one, but let me um, let me let me roll the dice because I, I'm having trouble. Wow, they all failed except for the boss and oh, and it's a plus uh, four, whatever. Mm-hmm. Why do you have plus four? Oh, well, you have to make a ranged attack, that... by the way. So you still have to hit that square. So give me a ranged attack. Um, I don't think that is true. If you send the battery through a narrow opening, you must ra- make a ranged attack. So but it's we- not a narrow opening. There's no narrow opening. It's it a little... The, the All arrow right. Arrow well, I don't know. You're throwing it arrow. into a huge group. Yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's, a re- it's one of those saves, and you take damage. I have a feat that gives me extra uh, half my level damage on any instantaneous spell. Excellent. And here we go. Roll your damage. Roll your damage. Just roll your damage. Uh, oh, three. that's plus four. not. Well, here he did actually... the plus. Oh, uh, I, I had a plus five. Yeah. All right. It's actually, pretty average, but okay. We'll accept that. Actually, he doesn't have one number above four. Yeah. Yeah. Out of no, nine. Seven. That's good. Wow. That's ninety damage and that's another one hundred twenty damage. And half would it be an average? That actually was one hundred twenty wow. points of damage. Yeah, okay. that's that's about it. One hundred twenty. Okay, so actually, thirty-seven point five would have been up. medium. So like Bob, my Bob's mass, I already did, I just did like uh, one hundred twenty damage, right? By the way, Carol only has four resolve. You only have four um, I know. resolve I know. points. You're actually I already low. And if you drop, I'm you can buy. Oh, I, I know. I know. This is this is what I do for my team members. They don't they don't You're appreciate me. In trouble. You actually are getting into the danger zone. I know. They don't appreciate me. I do what I do. Buzz up. You are surrounded by lots, and you are bleeding. Yeah. You're still entangled. Wait, what? Wait, no, no. Why, wait, wait. What do you mean I'm bleeding? Let's let's, okay. let's start killing some of these. You're up to well. You're 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 past your stamina. You're into the meat. Uh, Mo could move. I think that's the right move. Okay, so Mo is going to take a five-foot step to forego his full attack, and he's going to attack because basically five people showed up 
on the north. And these guys got to be pretty alarmed. So Mo's going to move there and hope that these guys go after um, uh, her... Uh, Rusty. Uh, Kiro. And he's going to attack with his pike, the, uh, the schlub marooned one, to the north. Marooned five. Oh, boy. Oh, oh he 62 crits. damage. He Jesus. crits. Right. 62 damage. Oh, and he has time to flex. Oh, oh. Uh, but but uh, I softened him up for you. No? Uh, uh, don't no. you have a second attack? Oh, no, you took, a, you took a step. Yeah, I took okay. a five-foot step yeah, just because it. these full attacks were destroying me. Rusty's up. Okay, so... Dr. Tuttle has a straight-on shot at the one that's three to the north of me. Therefore, that one's going to be my target to make it vulnerable. I will probably uh, provoke an attack of opportunity from the one that's within one space of me. But my move action is get him. My standard action is going to be attack that one. With your gun? With my gun and my bluff. Ooh, 39. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Do these guys have intelligence? I actually make that 47. Yeah, they have intel. Oh my god. Plus 6 to intelligence. And now plus 2 on that D6. Adam. How are they so, so smart? You get hit. Oof. Yes, for quite a lot, actually. That was You're really annoying. You're almost dead. And I missed. All right. uh, Dr. Tuttle, you have plus 4 against that one that you've been shooting at. Actually, we all do for the next round. Cool. Until my turn. She is... Not amused. You know what? She's going to do something funny. Oh, that looks like me. Do you want to <laughs> do something attack funny? Akira, focus all of her attention on the wizard who did the person the person who did the most damage to all of them. Look, I am not a wizard. I don't know what that term <laughs> is. She, she, <laughs> she takes a grenade out and says she knows your name because she's been watching you. So she's like, Akira. I like your spell. Dodge this. And she throws a sticky bomb grenade right at you. Give me a reflex save. Okay. Oh, wait. She has to hit you. Ooh. Oh, oh wait. wait that might be a miss. Oh, she rolls a two. It doesn't. It's it <laughs> Whoa, hold on. That actually may... Oh, wait. No, that means it's it'll bounce all over the place. Five. It might hit her. It might no, actually no, hit her. No, no, but it, no. it's, it's a five, though, right? It's a five. It's a five. DC, right? Unless she rates a one, she's not missing. She has like a... What does she have? Right. Plus like 17 or something insane. I'm telling you, actually. No, it's all, all, a one is only the way you miss with that. She has know. a plus I know. 21. So, yeah. So she rolled a 22 to get a DC five. So, yeah. She didn't quite hit exactly where she was trying, but it still hits Hiroji. Give me the reflex save, please. 19 ain't gonna cut it, baby! <laughs> oh. uh, so this is better than my temporal disruption grenade, is what you're saying. Because mine was a DC 19. Yes, hers is higher than that. Uh, you get entangled by goop. Nah, mm. that again, sure. That is bad, but okay. I do my best work from over here. <laughs> Well, you're going to be. Oh, she, she took five foot steps. <laughs> she's getting out of the way. She took five foot steps. Uh, she's laughing as you. Here's the best part. Not only you covered in goop, all of your images are also covered in goop because they have to show what you look like. So there's five Akiros covered in goop. I love it. I may make have to make her make a horrific saving throw or die pretty much. <laughs> Oh my god, one of them walks up and tries to hit Mr. Uh, Cheddar and actually does. But I get an attack of opportunity. Five foot step. Five foot. Oh, that's nope. right. You're right. No, you're, you're right. One walks up to Hiroji. Hits Wait, him. does he does he see me? I am invisible. I am I am cloaked. That's true. He didn't know I'm there. He's got he didn't, five... know I, he, he didn't know I was there when I ran past him. Yeah. Ooh. True. Aha! Uh -huh. He's got to attack a Kiro. Kira's the one that he sees. Kira's all covered in goo. He's vulnerable. And he's attacking him from behind. Oh, he's also, got a Also, he cast that spell that did he the most damage me. to Absolutely. anyone. He has a minus two to his AC, there and they're all covered in goo. There you go. There you go. 1d5, Mr. Roji. <laughs> ah, I right, mean, Mr. So Kira, keep doing that. Mr. Kira. Do a d6 and roll just sixes uh -huh. over. 
Let me get my core dice. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me. A lot of modifiers. Hold on, let me remove them. Don't put all the modifiers in. There's no, no modifiers. No, no, no. Just roll these uh, 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 Press John, the button. Cut. STF at you. Shut my pie hole? <laughs> yeah, shut your pie hole. <laughs> STF at you? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, STF at you. All right, a one is me, a six is a reroll. Four. Image well, gone. One of the images blinks out. And now Hiroji's up. And he is, yeah, he is, he's, he's, he's stealthy. All right, I'll. Hiroji, I, I, kill I, the I'll, one on me. I'm going to cast oh, oh, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Save me. I have other plans. Uh, <laughs> disintegrator yeah. pistol liquidator in my left hand. Disruptor pistol minor in my right hand. 15 feet away. She is 15 feet away. Uh, dual wield triple attack. Hello. And I roll lots of dice. What? Can you, you give me a pew pew pew? You can't dual wield yeah. triple attack. You can do one attack with. You can't do. So I have to with triple attack. So, so but why can't why that? Like, how, do, how does dual wield work? Your will is um, you do a full attack and you get less minuses on. And I'm, and I'm not doing a trick attack. I'm doing triple attack. Well, right, but that's not dual wheel. That's just a triple attack. Where's dual? Wheel? Right, triple attack says when making a full attack using only normal weapons or small arms. These are small arms. You can make up to three attacks right. instead of two. Right. So how does dual right. wield work? Dual wield. Do wheel do what do wield is is um it's a less of a minus when you do a full round attack with um both weapons. What I mean is multi weapon fighting. You know how to fight with several lighter weapons at once to take advantage of your multiple attacks. When making a full attack using two or more small arms or two or more melee weapons, reduce the penalties for making a full attack by one. So what's the benefit of using two you know, what's the benefit of, of unloading with two guns like you see in the movies? That's a good I'm, question. I'm not aware of any actual benefit in mechanically in the game. I've actually never seen it used. So is the answer that um, looking it up? Hold on. I've um, never. I don't even see it on your sheet. I mean, from from, from like the wielding is something I always love and I enjoy. And so, um, but I I believe it's just a when you take that, it's just it's a minus to the. Uh, it's a, it's, it reduces the negative you have for doing that. Yeah, but there must be a benefit for doing that, or why would you ever do it? Yeah, I know. No kidding. Yeah, like it sounds like this is all this is all built off of original Pathfinder. I know in original Pathfinder, it was you get you get extra attacks in a full attack action, but you don't get any attack but, but, but no you extra get, attacks. You get uh, but you get penalties. Yeah, no, they just, want to no... reduce that, and you you get a reduced minus because like two weapon fighting is like minus four, and like when you have that feat, it's like minus three. And so, what's the benefit of it? It's like a a, a, a one less minus. Where's dual wield? I don't even see it on your character. Where, where are you finding uh, it? Look for multi-weapon fighting, because I'm reading it right now. Here it is. Multi-weapon fighting, combat feat, no action. You know how to fight with several lighter weapons at once and how to take advantage of your multiple attacks. Benefit. When you make a full attack a, a full attack with two or more uh, small arms. I think it was two or more in case I have like three, ar three arms or like a bunch yeah. of tentacles. Well, science uh, fiction. Uh, or with two or more operative melee weapons. Okay, it's a, it's a minus. The by penalty one. is by minus one. So this is all that happens. Yeah, but what's the advantage? We are like That's the penalty it. is right there in black and That's white. But what's what's the what's the advantage to using two or more weapons? There you, must be one, or else why bother? You you can use two weapons if you want. Multi, you can do a full attack, and instead of getting a minus four to each attack, it's just minus three. So that's why. It says here your full attack. Your what regular attack is plus fourteen, but your full attack is plus eleven, and you get a triple. No one can do triple attack except you, and that's it. You're only. Oh, parent. I see what you're saying. So you normally, taking a full attack action was it would suffer. You'd suffer a penalty. You get a minus ten, minus ten. Oh, you for, get a for, minus... for a full attack action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you I see. A, so sorry, so, sorry. Minus so four, this, minus oh, four. Oh, so, so I see. So what this means is, uh, by having the flourish of using more than one weapon. Uh, I essentially just get a, I get my reduction for a full attack. Yeah. Now, in theory, you can either do it just for fun, or if you're running out of ammo, or you can have an energy gun in one hand and a melee weapon in right. another and hand. Right. And kinetic or uh, yeah. Right. And, oh, and, and, I'm very yeah. yeah. about it exactly. And, 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 like, and like ammo is a thing. Like, All right. So, really so, yeah. so this does it's combine. Like, okay. So this does combine, and this does make sense because. Uh, but what's happening is. And combined with triple attack, then, when making a full attack using only only uh, melee weapons with the special operative property or small arms, which I am, 
uh, I can make up to three attacks instead of two. So instead of so my full attack is not two attacks, it's three attacks. And because I'm using two guns, it's oh, not yes. minus ten, it's minus one. It's minus, it's minus nine or whatever. It's minus All right, three. so that's what I'm doing. Okay. So Just put it in and I'll now, do the rest. But here's my question. My question is, yes. uh, since I have a disintegrator pistol and a disruptor pistol, uh, the disintegrator has all kinds of filigree to it. The, the disruptor says crit staggered with a DC-17. And the, the uh, liquidator disintegrator pistol uh, has like some notations a crit. And so, right. so, so, so my, question, that... my, question, my question for the group, uh, is it worth sticking to one and having one do uh, like hitting all three with one? Or is it nice to take a little bit from column A, a little from Cobra Game, give them a pop parade? Uh, the, the, the actual answer to that is whatever the highest damage pistol is, you use that unless there is a damage resistant kind of thing where you have to use like, it's like, it's immune to energy. Use your pistol that shoots bullets. Like, all right, so but do we like this? Do, do we do we like this crit staggered business? Like, like might, might right, I want to right. throw one that, in there because I could stagger. stagger. That, all of that stuff is, is is bonus gravy because it's only when you roll a twenty. You have to roll twenty for that to actually happen. I see. Uh, I'm rolling three dice. I don't know. It's a fifteen percent chance. Uh, and and then and then and what's this? And what's this special boost one d six business? Under the disruptor pistol, it has a notation: special boost one d six. That sounds like mm, something special about it. Yeah, I think you can actually you have to charge it. If you use a move action, you can charge to do extra damage. Oh, I see. So you and you're not up. doing that. All right, no, yeah, yeah, you can't do that, that on a four. I didn't do that. All right, so I'm going to liquidate. Gonna do I think I'm going to go to simply liquidate. Am I going to simply liquidate? All right. All right. So the liquidate is. Uh, Oh, and you have here what the triple attack is. The triple attack is normally plus 11. It will be plus 12 because I'm using my bonus ability. Yes. All right. Well, it's so plus, no, it's actually we're plus, almost at the end no, of the math. It's plus 11. It's plus 11. <laughs> I'm going to do it for Wait, you why, unless uh, you know how to do is it. Plus, <laughs> Wait, so it's plus 11 because it's assuming that I'm always using the second weapon and getting an extra bonus? Is that why no, it's, it's plus, plus 14 for one attack, plus 11 for triple or double attack. That's all, all right, it is. Because the character sheet says it says plus 11, plus 11, plus 11. That that would that would indicate that if I'm using that one attack vanilla in a triple attack. No 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 no. It's it's see how it says a plus fourteen, and then it says full plus eleven plus eleven. Then it says triple plus eleven plus eleven plus eleven. Right. So why why since I since I am a since I am deploying the triple attack, why is it not using triple? It is. It is using triple attack, but you just get a minus you just get a minus three instead of a minus four. That's all it is. Okay. So but. Uh, I'm using the dual will business for the extra plus one. It's already plus. Ten. It's already in there. It's already so it's so so. This character sheet is assuming that I'm yes. always using two weapons. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty yes. much. Or, pretty much. Or, pretty much. Or literally. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, kinda, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> because it wouldn't be. Because there are times that I don't have all like two weapons. There are gonna be times that I don't have two weapons. And then, so then, so then when there's not two weapons, it's only plus ten. Like if a, like a, like a minute ago when I was uh, stripped down and uh, and these guys were giving me guns, if they only gave me one gun, then it would be plus time. Well, we, need plus you to, we need, we need yeah, to make a roll now, though. So. Yeah. All right. So liquidator. All right. So three plus 11s, please. Uh, the, and so wait, I guess I roll. We'll figure it out later. Because, I mean, operative is yeah, weird. It's, it's, you it's, rolled it's, it's 8, difficult. 22. You miss. It actually is, even if you did, uh, that, that's actually plus 14, but it's lower than yeah, that. 22 is not very good. It's actually a 19. You missed. Next Roll attack. Higher. Which one? Which one do you want to use? Liquidator. All boss monsters must go. I mean, you should be killing the one on me. I prefer if you did that. Like, I have one on me, and it's horrible. Yeah, shut up. Uh, shut up. Mo, shut up. Mo, yeah, Mo, Wait, Rusty, no and Cheddar are bloodied right now, but we're going to yeah. worry about you. Uh, I don't see that on my screen. But Yeah, I can send you a screenshot right now if you need. Ha! Ah! So yeah. What's the second? So attack? yeah. So 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 only the liquidator. Please, please, please attack him. Yeah, you hit for one. You get fifteen points of damage. Ooh, max damage. Good. All right, what about the other one? The other one missed. You rolled an eight, a five, and a fourteen. So. And, and what about the other other one? There's, There's only three two attacks. Attacks. Miss, miss, right, and right, right. hit. So miss, yes, miss, hit. You're done. Uh, yep. Yeah. You're done. I am done. That was a lot of talk. We have a, we have a, we have another detail though. There's one last detail. The last yes. detail is: is it an action can't move. to stealth, or or does that just or does that happen? Is that a free action? Because it's part of a move action. 
It's part of a move action? Okay, so... Yeah, if you're doing a full you can't action, do, you, you can't cannot do. take a move it's action. Like, I'm going to stop, because, and then I'm going to move. All right. Because, because the, the me attacking so aggressively... Uh, me attacking so aggressively ends my last stealth check for my cloaking. Oh, yeah. Then you're invisible now. Yeah, that's damn sure. Hey, on top. Like, it, doesn't, it doesn't end the cloaking field. It just ends the last uh, stealth check. Right. Yeah. Okay, the one that the one that Rusty put the mark on, I can't really hit now. All right, I'm oh, going to move, right. and I'm going to shoot at the one in front of Cheddar. Or 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 hold your action till after me, and I'll mark a new one. I forgot we had a tunnel here. Actually, I'm going to switch weapons. I'm going to switch to the disruption rifle. All right. Oh, are you attacking? Well, no. If I moved and switched guns, I don't have an attack left. Hmm. Okay. The cheddar does. Yeah, so should I think I'm gonna actually do do dual uh, full attack with cheddar. Right. Well, that was not a good attack. Rolls a three oh. for a miss. However, Oops, that, wait. Somehow that was a on tunnel that rolled that. So hey, wait that. a second. How'd you do that? Yeah, I attacked cheddar, no less. Good job. You hit your own guy. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that was weird. Wait, were both attacks from both attacks were from Aeon Tunnel? Both Try again. The cheddar's both the Cheddar's attacks. No, you did one attack from. Oh no, you missed. He did, he did two attacks from Cheddar. They both yeah, missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, that was weird. Akiro, you are finally up, and you have goo all over you. Hey everybody, Steve here. So this is the part where Chris's computer just dies. We actually spend a good 30, 40 minutes sort of talking and like helping him work it out, but it never comes back and then he's just sort of gone for the rest of the night. We're going to pick up where we make the decision to continue without him and you'll see what happens. Oh, you're right about that full attack, by the way. Uh, it's a minus four penalty for uh, yeah. attack rolls for a full attack action and, and it only yeah. calculates me as having a minus three. But I do have to remember that then if I'm stuck with one weapon because I want to get that. I, I must admit, I am salty about that. I, I wanted to get, I wanted to get like eighteen nah, attacks at like nah. minus twenty, and just nah. be rolling all kinds of dice and see what happens. Looking nah, for twenties. Nah. Nah, exactly, that exactly. That's all been removed because mostly for speed. And uh, but it's a good way to do it, though. I, I do like how it, how it does it. Like it, like three attacks, like three attacks with a feat that gives you three attacks is still good, and it is still good to it is still good to dual wheel and get some benefit out of it. Like you know, it's like you could full attack. But and have a slightly better chance to hit. Like that actually. Makes you would, uh, you'd love Pathfinder Two. Pathfinder Two just gets you three actions, and you can use those actions for whatever you want. You can move three times, you can attack three times, but there's just negatives when you attack three times. So, right. So, so none of this minor action stuff. Oh, really there's no free like, actions. Uh, there's yeah, no yeah. half act. Oh, it's oh, so no. good. Actually, are free actions, but everything in Pathfinder Two is an action. That's it. Whatever you want to do. Now, Swift some things actions. like spells. That's what I was yeah, that's all gone. Yeah. That's all gone. It's like, so basically, so what are you going to do? It's like, I'm going to pull out a potion. Okay, that's action one. Now what? I open up a door. Action two. Now what? I attack. Action three. That's it. Everything is an action. Like, there's no types. Now, spells, most spells take two actions to cast. Um, some spells, ca you can use one, two, or three actions, and that will change. Like, healing spells. If you do one action heal, it just does to yourself. Two action heal can do like more to someone else, and a three action heal is an AOE heal. So you can do more powerful things, and and the, and the whole reason they have two actions is so that you can't cast two spells in the same turn. That's actually kind of why they do that. So I should absolutely take over both Chris's characters. You could. There you go. I think Chris attacks that zombie right next to him with the most obvious deck he has. Uh, you know, you would think that, but oh my god, it's so hard to predict. Like, I, I'm, I'm honestly predicting I, I, another I have, defensive I a, I, spell. There's another defensive spell coming. Believe me, uh, he does not like Hiroji, that zombie. But Hiroji has the tech thoughts, and I can tell that that's what he's thinking of doing. Ah, uh, that's right. But this is crazy. Uh, he's really Chris has been gone for a long time. I wonder if he's like updating his windows or something when he restarted because there was a couple updates a, two, a couple nights ago, but they were small actually. I think about it. Oh my god! Here. I wonder if he has All a right. virus on his computer. So he's having an actual problem. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like he's actually having real problems. 
he said he can't even get the Discord now. I was like, well. Jason, you want to play Akiro? I trust you more than probably anyone else being impartial. No offense, just because I know Jason's very good at that. So, well, How does he know Akira's spells? That's, I'm That's a little bit Akira. fuzzy on his spells. I'm, uh, I will give you control of his character. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. You can see his spells. He has greater visibility to mention door corrosive haze, flight, explosive ba- blast, baleful polymorph, arcing surge. Arcing surge is kind of like chain lightning. Spider climb, sea invisibility, mirror image. Another another one of those AOEs. Baleful polymorph. He could turn it into some kind of like. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Space it's very monster. good, but it's extremely. It's not the other. It turns it into nothing. Turns like to a baby. But it's um. It's really risky because it never. He's actually never succeeded with it. It's um, caustic good. conversion. Nah. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. You could turn it into like a Rigelian slug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Identify jolting surge like bubble magic missiles, supercharged. Blah, 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 blah. Those are garbage. So, really, if you're gonna go for the A plus one, magic missile, always a good one. Corrosive haze, arcing surge, I believe, is just chain lightning. Um, explosive blast is well, we know what that is. It's fireball. Uh, uh, which, conversion. again, if he can do that thing of excluding all of us, that strikes me as a useful thing. Another one of those fireball-y things. Kind but of right now, if I cast a spell, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. That is correct. You, have, you have, have mirror images. You do have three more images, so might as well. Uh, he does have those... Uh, oh, what is it? Magic missiles. That I'm going to keep it simple... Uh, I'm going to keep it simple and cast Magic Missile on the boss. All right. All right. Ooh. So I don't know that I even need to do an attack roll, right? I just roll damage. You, well, he actually does extra damage. So first we'll do Attack of Opportunity on you, since you are casting a spell. Now roll 1d4. One will hit you. Oh, by the way, yeah. He hits you. 1d4, 1 hits you, and 2, 3, or 4 hits one of the mirror images. He rolls a 2. Good job, Jason. You hit a image. So two images left. You are already playing Akiro better than Chris. And roll 1d3, d4, plus 9. He gets extra damage because he has a feat that gives him, like, extra damage. So... 15 on the boss. Good job. Heal me. You are doing an excellent job. John is up. You are half Delay dead. till after me, and I will give you a bonus against one. Yeah, I am... Uh, say that again, Bob. Delay till after me, I'll give you a bonus against one. I'm going to delay till after... Uh, Rusty. Rusty is up. Great. Uh, I am going to... Uh, the one directly to the right of Mo. Let's get rid of that one first. Uh, I am going to attack it and do my whole wad. So get him as my move action. I will probably provoke an attack opportunity in my next attack. Are you using your gun? Yep. Oof. Oof. 41. Hits you. Yeah, that was pretty nasty, actually. All right, I am nearly dead now. But you have yep. a plus four. To, you have plus four against that one now. Uh, that's okay. Um, I'm going to do a full attack against this sucker. Going to get you, sucker. Oh boy, full attack. So that should be even. Yeah, You're doing a full attack. attack. I'm doing a full attack. Okay, he's dead. Nice. And my second attack, I'll attack the one to the. Uh, Ooh, that misses. what do I roll? An 8 for 27 misses? Minus, uh, well, it's minus, minus 4, minus right. 2 for being sticky. So minus 6, you miss by a lot. The only um, reason you even hit the one next to you is because... You're, you're right, the plus 4. Right. Hello. Yep. Okay. Makalar, she goes. So, Akira is all sticky. She sees what's going on, and she decides, eh, eh, let's go kill him. She perceives the Hiroji uh, threat. She does. She the, walks the Akira, up The Akira threat. That's right, Hiro- oh, you keep doing that. She slashes to take another one of his images away. Give me a 1d3. One hits him. Two or three hits an image. 
Oh, look Mirror at that. image gone. Two is... <laughs> wow, there's um, only one left. Good job. So she slashes and destroys an image. And she says, Ah, you can't hide from me forever, sticky boy. The last marooned one. Maroon one. Because maroon two and three have been killed. Attacks Mo. Full attack. What? What? Oh, All right. So Mo is mostly red. Hold on. Wait a minute. Why Why is he, this guy attacking Cheddar? He should be attacking Cheddar. You're almost dead. You're yeah, to I know. And Cheddar is in his face. I don't know why he's attacking Mo around the pillar. Yeah. Well, now the marooned one's going to attack Mr. Uh, Akira. Full attack. 1d2. Can't have a mirror images forever. Oh. That hits. That one takes some pain off. 1d2. 21 points of damage, even with damage reduction. Oh, the last mirror image is gone. I can predict this next spell, though. Hiroji is up. You just do it again. All right, let me see if I'm figuring this out right. All right, so I'm going to uh, trick attack. Uh, okay. Do I still, you know what, I think, I, do I want the semi-auto pistol? All right, so here, so I, I, I got I to gotta put this decision to the group a little bit. Semi-auto pistol, it's uh, 3d6 plus 5, and it has a crit notation. The disruptor pistol, 2d6 plus 5, and then crit stagger. That's so I'm fishing for crits with that. The disintegrator pistol, 1d10 plus 5. I like the 3d6 plus 5 for the semi-auto. Uh, all things being equal, I generally say highest damage. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. All right. And so, what's spe so special about the disintegrator pistol? I mean, that that, that sounds uh, a lot sexier than uh, it really when is you, looking when on you the page. Damage types. It's also damage yeah. types. Some things yeah, are immune to, to physical or energy or all that. I see. And so, this is more more of a normal uh, opponent. It's so also slightly I'm... easier to hit with energy than it is to hit with melee. And a lot of creatures uh, have melee re damage reduction. Like, Mo has DR11. So if you hit him with that I gun, you, you do nothing. <laughs> it literally bounces off. I see. Uh, uh, okay, so the boss, however, has displayed none of these qualities. Is the As boss... Of, right now, no. Se se seems to be simply... All right, so I, you can be killed by a bullet. I am going to shoot you with a bullet. Uh, so if I remember how to do this correctly... Am I using the trick attack ability off my character sheet? Is that how this works? No, you just roll. It's right? actually stealth. It, you, so if you want, it's, right. it's you, you have a plus twenty five. So just roll a d twenty, and we'll go from there. If you bring the how dice about not up, a one? How about not a one? Let's find out. Okay, that, that succeeds. You rolled an eighteen for nice three. So yeah, you successfully trick her, and you're like. Look over there. She's like, huh? And now you go, you can move and you don't have to move. You can move if you want and then attack her using which gun? Semi-auto pistol elite. Is that it? So, yeah. So I'm not shotting on the running or any of that jazz. I'm going to stay where I am. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll the hit. Well, wow, that's fun. That's a good thing. That's still a good thing. But there's bonus. There's Wait, bonus for that. so you did... Yeah, that, that, this that's is the, the, the so base you damage, you right? only did 16 base damage. Right, right, but right. But now you roll 12 D8. Oh, right, double. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's right, yeah. Great. Oh, I, oh, I critted. I'm not seeing the display where I critted. All right, so that's nice. All right, so... Oh. Uh, Oh, roll so, well. Come on, so, just do so it. I'm roll just, well. So on the core dice here, I'm just going to pump it up to uh, how many? Well. Put it up to 12. Well. 12 dice. And then <laughs> Press the light. The yeah. D8 icon. Uh -huh. and yeah. Results, uh -huh. all right? All right. Yep. Yeah. That's really good, actually. Oh, Lord. There oh, we go. God. Oh, that works. That works. That's oh my good. God. That's Not a great problem. roll. Nice. That's an insanely good roll. Actually, I, I feel a lot better now. Yeah, after, after the 49. after the guns of blazing the bottle, so, I'm feeling better. So, who wants to tell Chris that Hiroji finally critted after getting a sneak attack? Wow. Well, we should save that for next time. I think. Hey, the tile is up. <laughs> Forty-nine damage. Nice. 
We should all enjoy I'm, the moment. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm going to go full attack 16. and try to get rid of this guy in front of the shutter. Okay, you can do that. He is flat-footed. Oh, and I deactivated the cloaking thing, by the way. <laughs> okay. <gasps> what is going on? <laughs> what? Oh, nice. Yes. All righty. Crits galore. Of course, I don't, I don't have anybody. Yeah, active. it really is. That is amazing. Now, so Tuttle basically hit... Yeah, uh, he critted with his uh, boy disruptor, disruptor rifle. Crystal. We don't even get the sonic plus bonus five damage. times two. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't have anyone else damage. I can shoot at with the second attack though. There's no fire. That's total <laughs> hitting for forty-two <laughs> damage. Wow, that is awesome. All right, well, wow. Cheddar is going to get in there and help out. He's like gonna roll over the bones of that marooned one. He's like crunch, crunch. Yeah, you have like two actions with Jenner too. <laughs> oh, he's getting up into his face. And guess who's up next? Akiro. Jason, you get to play Akiro. Wait, why doesn't Akiro. Cheddar get an attack? Oh, I'm he does still... get an attack. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, he gets uh, two X ray. Sorry, yeah. I forgot he gets full attack. Up the gods giveth. And the gods take it away. Oh, oh, it's a known thing with dice. You know, if you roll a twenty, sometimes you roll it and it's the other side of the die. It's it, it happens a lot in yeah, this program. Yeah. It's a little weird. I, I have nothing to do with it. I'm just it just submits it and so I can check the math, but I don't touch it. Akiro is up. Does Akiro even have a weapon? Who knows? But he is cornered. But... You know, honestly, without any mirror images, this is where he teleports, honestly. It's his way. It does not provoke. It does not provoke. How does yeah. his teleport work again? I think he uses a resolve point. He's a... Yeah, he uses a resolve point, and then you can go 30 feet in anywhere you want. All right, he's going to do, he's going to do that. Okay, move him where you want. He's got three resolve points left. He does have the haste circuit going, so he can actually use that and keep going. So he's, um, I mean, he hasn't really been using the haste circuit to his advantage. Oh, that's a good place. Um, he can attack. I mean, he has a gun. Yeah, I think yeah. he's going to use his gun on the boss. Okay. He only gets one attack, though. No, no, he can do a full, because that's considered... Wait, is that considered a move? Eh, whatever. If he has a full... No, no, if he has a haste circuit going, he can do a full attack. Well, he does one. There we go. Good enough. Rusty is up. Rusty, you are covered in blood. You are bleeding Yes, yeah, so and I'm not enjoying any bit of it whatsoever. But there's uh, no more monsters I... there, yeah. I'm currently thinking, let's get rid of the last ad, so I'm going to attack that one with my full wad. That's a success. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, I assume oh. four, yeah, okay. Uh, so everyone has plus four to attack that one if they so choose. I'm done. Mo is also nearly dead. Yeah, Mo's going to pick up the gun that he dropped. Luckily, he's right next to the area. And that's his move action, and he's going to shoot uh, the one that Rusty just attacked. So, you guys are kicking ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're also damaged. And that's it. Simple turn. She's looking around, seeing all of this. She has her sword out. She's uh, she's going after Kiro. Oh, all right. Holy God, damn! Uh, let's check the image. No, there are no images left. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Hey, it's just Akira at this point. Akira, sixty-three points of damage. Lovely. Okay, last marooned one. And eh, just attack the cheddar. Uh oh, cheddar's in trouble. Chatters... <laughs> There's a lot of people here in a lot of trouble, <laughs> but Hiroji's back. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, this yeah. is. You better engage people who aren't in trouble. Yes, yeah, Hiroji. Oh, Hiroji's. So, oh, that's him. good. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. All right, so uh, the little zombie, the marooned one, I got, I got a plus four on him, right? Yes, you do. Yes. All right, so 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try the flourish again. I'm gonna I'm gonna trick attack. Uh, primary attack on the boss, and then if the attack succeeds, rather than being flat-footed, uh, I'm gonna ricochet and try and. And, and wouldn't it be nice if they only had two hit points left and I killed them both in one hit? Wouldn't that be nice? Let's try. That would be nice. That would be so nice. So nice. 
Uh, okay, do your Okay, trick so first attack. things first, I am rolling a d20 to see if my stealth works. Yes. Right? Yes. So it's That's right DC. in the middle of the road. It's well, it's the, the the DC you have to hit is twenty plus the target CR. So you got to figure all these are around CR ten. So your target is always around a thirty or ish. Now you have a plus twenty five, so that's a thirty five. So exactly that that ish matters. <laughs> <laughs> the ish, because the other thing it can go up against is also the her stealth, or her bluff, or her intimidate. It can go actually. Sorry, it can go. Sorry, it's against. Um, no, it's just her. DC. Sorry, sorry, I'm wrong. It's just a DC. Uh, you successfully uh, trick her again. Good, good, good. Oh, so now, so I have to hit with the trick attack, and then, and that then is I can correct. do the ricochet. So let's do that. Basically, whenever you trick attack, you are looking for a. Did that? Plus did that do it? Something. Uh, plus six, plus twenty. Not gonna do it. You miss her ah, by so a mile. Ah, that's too bad. Because your mirror gonna move. Aeon Tuttle is up. What are you gonna do, Aeon Tuttle? Save us, Tuttle. Yes, please. I'm gonna move in a little closer so I can actually get a firing lane on the boss. Because I don't think I can practically move into the room and get the other ad. Well, she has a sword out, so you probably don't want to move in. Wow, you did a lot of damage. Twenty-three points. Very yeah. nice, actually. That's great. Cheddar. Okay, since he has the plus four, Cheddar's gonna go full attack. Right. All right, very good. There's a lot of people here on the brink of death. It still had the minus four. I noticed, but he still okay. missed. I am taking it out for the second attack, though. Okay. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. That, that missed it. Oh, come on. Oh, good lord. So close. All right. And you get another chance to get a Kiro's up. Ho ho ho. Uh, I'm saying wait till after me if it's a non-spell. All right, Akira it's, will wait. It's all on boss. Uh, it depends on if it's a spell, it won't matter. But no, I was being just up anyhow. Right. Uh, all right, so unfortunately, where she is, boss is the target for five of us out of six. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, Cheddar is on his own against that zombie. Um, at any rate, so I'm going to be attacking the boss with my whole thing, so plus two for everybody forget him, and now hopefully an extra plus two. Hold on. Oh, the first time I roll poorly in this entire thing. Four? So I need to re-roll. Probably not so good. Not so good. Re-roll that one. Re-roll that one. Re-roll it. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 30. I can't believe it. Uh, 30. Uh, 30. Uh, Nothing. Nothing. Wait, what's the, Uh, uh, see, what is it? It's it's 15 plus one half, right? So yeah, and a bit more than that, as I recall. There's actually a higher thing. I have to look it up if you need. Nope, you do not make it. I wouldn't think so. She's that, not at that number. All right, uh, so there it is. So you know, the 40 plus I got on every other attack this entire fight. Well, that didn't happen this time. You still get to attack. You just don't. Oh, and I'm doing so. Get the pluses and making her. And everybody has plus two to attack her on every type of attack. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Car- Carter out. Mo is up. That's Hurry an up. amazing number of ones. All oh, right. wait. What about oh, Akira? Akira's up. Sorry, hold on. Akira is up. What will Akira okay. do? Gonna guard and step. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And? And He's try to shoot with the... Shoot with the... Oh, that's true. I can, so I can do full attack mm-hmm. with, the disintegr- with the disintegrator rifle, which will only mm-hmm. be minus two instead of minus four. Oh, 19 points of damage. She doesn't look too Very good. Nice. She's melting. She's melting. Three. Nope. Mo goes, though. Mo is going to make a full attack. With his pike? This is oh, no. Was with his range. Gun. This is at range. Yep. She's, like, right next to him, too. But she's still... It's, like, just far enough away that she can't hit... You can't hit her. Oh, you can't use your... All right. And there we go. All right. That's it. Perfect. And Aww. actually, you can make a second Aww. shot. You can make a second shot at the zombie. Yeah, but I miss. I, I rolled the four. Do you do you want oh, me to roll yeah, a second I'd shot? You, right. Nah, I'd say you the four went up against. Oh, the see, that yeah. was at Malakar. It'd be a whole, I'm kidding. All right. Well, kill the last one, and uh, so we can end this. It's his turn. Actually, he might take out Cheddar. He might take a bite out of Cheddar. Surrender, and we will be friendly to you. He's running. 
<laughs> you guys can attack of opportunity. Oh, heck attack. yeah! Attack not everyone. Right. Not everyone. Cheddar does, and so does uh, Mo. No, actually, only Cheddar, right? Everyone else mm -hmm. has guns. You guys suck. Holy crap! Are you kidding me? Nope. All right. Well, we do. Wait, wait, wait. It's a double movement. He's just running. Roji, you're gonna save the day before he goes and sets off the alarm. Yeah. Oh, I, th I think I have to. Yeah, definitely. You're fleet, so that's good. Okay, I guess it's shot on the run. You see, the cool thing would be to use my face ability to face through the wall and show up next to him and kill him. That, that would be the, the stylish thing to do, but I'm not going to do that. I want to save it for later. So I guess I'm going to run uh, I'm gonna run through the door and shoot him. Shoot him with the trick attack. That would, that's the easiest thing. Yep. 42. You easily <laughs> trick him. I, I think I yeah, deceived him. That is a deception. Now you need to right, so now do it. To Come on, Hiroji. There's something you never thought you'd hear yourself say. Yay. You hit. Now That's 68. 68. 68 is the extra key. damage. All right. 24. 24. There we go. Good enough. How's that? We'll know when Glory we get it. Almost. He's doesn't. He's like he's like oh, crumbling he's... down. Wait, the last one's up. No, Aeon Tuttle's right there. Hey, wait a second. How much move did I use? Do I have more move? I might have more move. If I have more move, I move up more. Okay, Whatever my maximum move up is. more. There it is. So you managed to kill him as he's opening up the door. He's about to flee. Set off some alarms, and Hiroji sprints through the door. Does a little tumble, does like the William Shatner, shoots him in the back. He crumbles, but he's about to open up the door, and then Toddle just calmly, coolly shoots him and kills him. <laughs> yeah, just a hip shot. A hip shot. <laughs> <laughs> Toddle was so bloodthirsty, but okay. Meanwhile, let's see. Tuttle, fine. Cheddar, nearly dead. Rusty, nearly dead. Mo, very close to death. Akiro, fine. And Hiroji, fine. I, 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 I did not take a single point of damage. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, that is the way. Uh, that is, uh, yep. That seems like a Kiro. But, but I nevertheless complained because when I did that roll, I, <laughs> I muffed up my shirt. I muffed yeah. up my shirt. That is you, you've, way. Cap, you've captured the essence of the character. Tag team. Damage be gone. If they're allergic to damage. Hey everyone, Steve here. So there we go, they killed the mini-boss of this area. They're kind of done with this section. There's a couple of other rooms, but they're not important. We're going to see if they're going to decide to go into them or not. For those of you familiar with this encounter, I actually changed it up. Originally, it was just supposed to be the mini-boss, but that would have been over in like one round. So, I took the marooned ones, which were supposed to be in the prison, and I added them to this encounter. I also added several more grenade bombs that were going off, just to make it more fun. And sure enough, it turned out to be perfect, where it was very challenging. People almost dropped, but not quite. And, you know, it made a challenging encounter for them. For those of you who ever want to, like, figure out encounters on the fly, and want to make something a little bit more difficult, the number one trick, and the easiest thing to do, is to change the number of hit points. That you can do without the PCs really knowing. My PCs always keep track of how many hit points, and they will sort of get a little suspicious of, hey, why did one monster have 100 hit points, and why did another monster have 200 hit points, and then my question a little, but usually as long as you're sort of consistent and just say, ah, oh, well, two of them were injured, or two of them were lesser versions, and so forth, that is what I always will do. I'll always sort of fool around with the uh, hit points. Sometimes if I think an encounter is going too easy, I'll quickly add more hit points to the monster. Or the other way around, if I think they're getting their asses kicked, I'll actually take off hit points and make them a little easier. That's the easiest way to adjust encounters on the fly. I do it all the time, and it works out seamlessly. So one thing you might have noticed is these episodes appear to be getting longer. That's not your imagination. They actually are getting longer. One of the side effects of having an extra player is things are taking a little bit longer. You would think the fights would actually be shorter, but Seth is brand new to the game, and I hope you guys don't mind us sitting here explaining the rules to him. 
we try to do it pretty quick, and there's a lot that I actually even cut out. I sort of keep a small balance. I'd say about 20% of what we actually say to him is kept into the show. But he does get up to speed pretty quickly. It's one advantage of only having to play one character. Unfortunately, this character is fairly complex, and it doesn't really map to anything that exists inside Pathfinder. Like, if he was playing a Technomancer, that would have been easy, because that's like a wizard. Or if he was playing a soldier, because that's a fighter. But the operative is, like, kind of a thief, but not really, because it works very differently. It's its own thing, for better or for worse. And I also think that's why Seth is enjoying it, because it's a character type that he's never really played before. So a big part of it is him kind of learning the rule set. So just stick with me for a little bit longer, because he does go off the rails. Oh yeah, one more thing about Seth that you're going to learn is that he hates rails. He hates being confined. He likes to do exactly what you're not supposed to do. He wants to find the method. He sees that the adventure is moving him towards one direction and he goes the other way. It is a challenge, and I have explained to him this is an adventure path. It's right there in the name. It's a path. You're kind of semi-railroaded in when you decide to play one of these. And, as I said, I do have a spy in the group that is going to help me steer the rest of the group into that direction. That is going to come up more often than you might think. But they are speeding along. There's only like two or three rooms left after this. It's, it's getting to the end. It's... It's actually coming to a big conclusion. If there's anything specific you want to know or see at the end of the show, let me know. Because I myself am trying to figure out exactly how we should end it, if we should have a big Q&A, if you want to have a little epilogue episode for each character. Just sort of give me an idea of how you want this to end, and I could probably do it. So give me your feedback on the Discord. Just go to discord.rollforcombat.com and give me some ideas of what you want to see at the end of the show. With that, we'll go to show notes. Don't forget, new podcast every single Tuesday and Friday. Do subscribe to us on iTunes, Android, and Spotify. And do leave reviews for iTunes. I see a couple of new reviews. It's funny. People used to leave reviews all the time. I guess there's just so many applications now for listening to podcasts that there's reviews all over the place. And that I don't even know if iTunes is number one anymore. It used to be number one for the longest time, but I think Spotify, at least for this podcast, has passed it. And even YouTube is getting up there now. Do check out Jason's Talking Combat column every single Monday and Talking Plague Stone every single Thursday. Do check out our Discord channel where you can play lots of games. We are putting together a new game, at least one or two, every week. Starfinder, Pathfinder, Pathfinder 2nd Edition. There's some Shadowrun games up there. A little bit of everything. And also don't forget, if you get up to level 10, you get a free t-shirt. Do follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Do check out our Reddit channel. Do check out our Patreon. And then finally, if anyone is at PAX Unplugged this weekend, I'm going to be at PAX Unplugged. I'll be here Friday and Saturday. I'm leaving Sunday. I know the Order of the Amber Die guys are going to be here on Saturday, if you want to see them. And I know No Direction guys are going to be here, well, the entire time. So look around, say hi to me, and that's sort of it. Oh, and then finally, PaizoCon tickets are available and on sale. I actually got them so fast that it was still linked to the PaizoCon 2019 information. That's how quickly I got my tickets and hotel. So, yep, I'm going to be there. Now that the Roll for Combat Network is growing, I'm not sure how many of us are going to be there. I imagine a fair number, but there's now something like 10 Roll for Combat members I don't know if Seth's going to go. He might. I imagine John will probably go. I know Chris and Bob might go. They always want to, but I don't know if they can. Jason will probably want to go. Rob Tremarco will definitely go. I think Vanessa's definitely going to go. Lauren's definitely going to go. And that's sort of, I think, everyone from the uh, network. So I'd say probably half to two-thirds of the network is going to be there at PaizoCon. So make sure you sign up for that. But with that, I'll talk to you guys next week. See ya. You've been listening to Roll for Combat, a Starfinder actual play podcast. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at rollforcombat.com or drop us a line at contact at rollforcombat.com. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and other social media platforms.
been listening to Roll for Combat. Until next week, always remember Hiroji's motto, it's time to throw a grenade.